Hello friends and welcome back. In today's video, I have discovered some amazing deals at our favorite store. You know what I'm talking about? Not the number one, maybe the number two, which I believe is going to look very much like the number one. You heard it, Target. As you know, Target is going through a slight change, shall we say. The anchor line is going to be available at Target. And while that's happening, they're discounting so many things. And I was lucky enough to actually find quite a few deals that I'm going to share with you today. At the end of the video, we'll sit back and have a little chat. I'm sure you've noticed the change that's happening at Target. I don't know. What do you think about that? I know I have my opinion on it and I have spoken to a couple of people at Target and I do have some insider knowledge to fill you in on later on. But today, let's start off with the bargains that I found at Target, predominantly in ladies wear, but also in stationery. So stay tuned. The first thing that I found are the ladies joggers. These joggers are phenomenal and you won't believe the price that I grabbed these at. These were originally $50 marked down to, I'll give you a second to think about it. What do you think it would have been marked down to? $5. Unbelievable. I could not leave them there. I didn't need any, but when it's a bargain like that, I know when it's something this good looking and this good quality, I know I will get wear out of it. These are the ladies joggers that have front deep pockets. They're squared off down here and then on the back, they have more pockets. They're elasticized and they have a little tie at the front. And the best thing is that they have an elastic at the bottom, which I absolutely love. Now, excuse me if I look a little bit flustered and hot. It's a really warm day in Melbourne here today. It's about 30 degrees. I have the cooling on. But I've been changing out and um, trying on these clothes for you so I could insert a little bit of footage here as I'm talking to you about them and telling you about them. And so you can see how versatile these items are. So starting with the ladies' joggers, I found this in a size 16. I found that I prefer my joggers to be a little bit loose and not too tight. I don't like them to sit too snug on me. I find that it just defeats the purpose of having a jogger style. For me, a jogger style should feel like you're wearing a tracksuit, but look a little bit more elevated. These are absolutely gorgeous. I have styled these with just a simple bodysuit that I recently bought. Where did I buy that bodysuit from? I bought it from one of the young girls outlets. Um, I was shopping with Charlotte, my youngest daughter, and I was on the market for a new bodysuit. Squared at the front and then rounded the back, but you can't flip it around. Anyway, I tried on first with the bodysuit to show you what this on its own looks like. Of course, this can be styled with trainers with sneakers i like it with white sneakers i like the contrast between black and white with the sneakers and then you can just try it on with a simple white t-shirt you can't go wrong you know my favorite t-shirts are the uniqlo white t-shirts i absolutely love them and i feel that they go perfectly with these joggers now the joggers do have like a shiny look about them you can see that so this means that you can actually dress them up a little bit and i've tried it on a with a blazer just to show you how you can give it more of an elevated look by just throwing on a blazer over these joggers you can't go wrong i i did feel i was going to try them on with high heels but i just felt that that was trying a little bit too hard in my opinion at the moment at my age i don't know i have worn joggers with high heels in the past i just felt that this looked a little bit too try hard if you know what i mean but my favorite look of these joggers which i feel that i can wear both in summer in autumn and in winter now in melbourne we get some cooler days in summer so i can get away with wearing it but it is a little bit heavier weight cotton and it is elasticized it makes it super comfortable you can just lounge around the house with this or you can just dress them up and go out Anyway, back to what I was telling you about, you can dress these up in winter. I feel like I'm going to live in these come this winter because I love the shine to them, which means that even though you're wearing a pair of joggers, which are more of a relaxed fit and more of a casual look, the shine I feel just elevates it and gives it that extra oomph, that extra elegant, chic look that I like clothes or look for in clothes. And I style these with my favorite cream boots that I absolutely love. They're still going to be in fashion this winter so i'm going to get another season out of them and i'm so happy about that but i started it with a jumper just a large jumper and you can see here just tucking it in a little bit at the front just how elevated the whole look is and how 
comfortable, casual, but chic, and just pull together this pair of joggers with the jumper and the boots just looks. I feel like I'm going to be living in these come this winter. Absolutely love them. And let me tell you, as I said at the start, it was a very hot day and that was the last outfit that I tried on coincidentally. And so I am a little bit sweltering from having put on a woolen jumper to try on with these joggers. Anyway, these were not listed on the website. I will try and link them below if they are still listed. But if not, I will find you something similar if you're interested in this look. The next item that I purchased were pyjamas. Now, you know how I feel about pyjamas. You have seen me create a couple of videos where I style pyjamas not only as homeware, but also as outerwear. Excuse me, I feel like Having tried on all these clothes, I have fluff stuck on my face and I can feel it, but I can't get it off. Anyway, chilling down, relaxing. So the pyjamas that I bought are these Hawaiian inspired pyjamas that I absolutely fell in love with. Look how pretty they are. And these are so well made. They remind me of the Peter Alexander pyjamas, which are upward of $100. These were originally $45, reduced down to $50. So is that a reduction? Originally $45, reduced down to $20. And I had to grab them. They had my size. I love the Hawaiian look. Look at that fabric. Look at those colors. It is so lightweight and flowy. And definitely these pajamas, I feel I can wear out and you would be none the wiser. If I hadn't told you that these were pajamas and I show you how I've styled them, you would say these were just the short sleeve shirts and loose flowy pants. The pajama pants are not cuffed. Last time I styled a pair of pajamas, pajama pants from Kmart they were, they were cuffed and many of you thought, yeah, nah, that's not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. However, these are not cuffed. These are just standard hemmed pair of pyjama pants, which I feel are just so flowy, loose and comfortable. I tried these on with the bodysuit just to show them on their own. Of course, then to elevate the look, you can add just a simple white belt and also add high heels to these and you've got an outfit that I swear, I don't think anyone is gonna guess that these are pyjama pants. They come with side pockets, which you know how I feel about side pockets for anything, whether it be pants, pyjamas, dresses, I need a side pocket because I'm always carrying a tissue or something in them. So I style these with a bodysuit. I style these with these with a shirt, with a t-shirt. These are so versatile. You will not regret if you can find these to grab them. The style, the colors are just so pretty. Look at that. There is purple and blue and cream, a light yellow and a green, all different types of green. This also goes well and matches really well with the new lime green colors that are out this summer that I absolutely love. I love lime green. I don't know what's with this summer, but that's one of my favorite colors for this season. Anyway, the shirt on the other hand, and I'm going to call it a shirt. It's not a pyjama top to me, although I will wear it as a pyjama top as well. But if need be, you can throw this over a sleeveless dress and just tie it up in a knot like I've done here because it is just so lightweight. And if you want that extra coverage on your shoulders, but not the weight of, say, a cardigan or even a T-shirt, then this is perfect. It is so light, breezy, lightweight and cool that you can wear it over a sleeveless dress just to cover the shoulders or the arms if you feel a little bit uncomfortable about those areas. I love this shirt. I love the pattern, the Hawaiian pattern. I feel like it just screams summer to me. Anyway, so let me know in the comments below. Do you think that this could pass as outerwear outfit somewhere on the streets, somewhere to wear to go to the beach or somewhere? I know I think this would get away with being worn out as outerwear, not just as pyjamas. The next steel that I found and that I was lucky enough to grab are these wide-legged pants from Target. Earlier in the season, I tried them on in orange and I didn't end up buying them. I just felt that the orange was, although I love the color, I didn't feel like I could get enough wear out of it at the original price. However, the Lily Loves wide-legged pants, which were originally $50, were reduced to five dollars i kid you not i kid you not these were only five dollars and when something is so well made i just feel like i have to grab it even if i'm only going to get one season out of it because the color is so neon green which i feel is not going to be coming back next summer but i feel like these pants are just so elegant and yet you can dress them down with sneakers and just a t-shirt or you can dress them up with a shirt and a belt and wear them to work 
I love the fact that they've got pockets. Yes, they've got built-in pockets and they've got the pleats at the front, which gives you that extra relaxed feel and it's not too tight around the waist and the hips. I love the look of the pockets because they are slanted. So they are very chic and formal and business-like. And I love the width of the pants. They're very flowy. They're very comfortable, very lightweight, but also have a hefty drop to them so they don't cling in all the wrong spots. I find that sometimes some cotton will cling on some of the curves that I really don't like being clingy and emphasized. This one is quite smooth. The fabric seems to have an extra fiber in it. It just makes it drape so much better on the body. And I absolutely love these pants. I have styled them in various different ways just to show you here. Let me know which one do you think is your favorite? It's so hard to pick one. I feel like these three items, or really technically four items if you separate the pajamas out, were such a bargain and I was just so happy to find them. I hope if you're looking for them, pop into your store, see if there's any left. Because I actually went into the store because I'd seen a TikToker say that her local store had everything discounted for $2. And she bought a humongous bag. And that was the impetus for me to actually go to Target. I didn't need anything, but if there was something like this about $2 that I was in and I was going to buy it. Anyway, at my local store, they didn't have those kind of sales. However, I did speak to someone at Target who told me that when they have those kind of sales, it's not normally a Target Australia-wide type of sale. It's more of a manager's markdown. So she got really lucky in her store. And my store didn't have that, but it did have a lot of stock that I feel is going to get marked down. So keep an eye out on your local targets because I feel like so many of their items are going to be severely reduced like these items that I purchased here. Anyway, the next items, moving on to stations that I purchased. Let me take them out so I don't keep making so much noise. Really things that I didn't need as always. However, I did see them and I thought they will come in handy. First thing is these are best Christmas Christmas ever Christmas cards or gift cards. These were reduced down to 20 cents. Now, who doesn't need extra gift cards every year? I know this year we were scrounging around at the last minute trying to find some. So I thought these will come in handy next year. And I purchased three of them for a whopping 60 cents. That was a bargain. In the stationery section, they also had these, these spiral notebooks. And normally I get my spiral notebooks from Kmart and around about I think $3.50 or thereabout. I also get them from TK Maxx. At TK Maxx are a little bit more expensive. They're more in the five to seven dollar range. These exercise books, spiral bound exercise books or notebooks are from Paper Crane. So they're really well made. The, the front and the back page are really thick cardboardy, really stiff, so it's not going to be easily bent, but it is soft, so you can carry it around in your handbag. Not that I plan to carry them around in my handbag, but I did find these, and guess how much these were? These were reduced from $7.50 to $3 each. What a bargain, and I'm opening them because I really want to show you what the inside looks like. On the first page, on the inside first page, they actually have a pale blue lilac, depending on the light, small pale blue front pocket. So if you want to put any receipts, any notes, you can do that there. And then it's just a standard notebook with the paper crane logo at the bottom. And I would say that there's a good 120 pages in here. So it's a really thick notebook. And you know that I go through notebooks. I love myself a notebook. I tend to write uh, a lot of notes and scribble in my notebooks when I get ready for all my videos. So I find that these come in really handy. So I bought two of them. There were many more there with different designs, but I particularly liked the checkered pink and white design with the little purple lavender lilac emblem at the bottom. I thought these were cute and I bought those. And last, I bought myself some more pens. You can never have enough pens. I always buy my pens from Kmart because I do like the feel of their pens. Here's one. These are the ones that I generally buy. They come in a pack of five. Anyway, these are the last two that I've got on my desk. So I need to, I needed to stock up. So when I saw that these were reduced to $1.50, I grabbed them. These are really pretty because they're slightly different design as in that color. They came in a more, they're more autumnal colors. I thought that these are really pretty and they would come in really handy whenever I need to scribble. The ballpoint is really smooth and not sticky. You know when you buy some pens sometimes they're really they're really hard and they tug on the page. These don't. These are really smooth. Anyway, these go on my desk. So that was my haul from Target. Let's sit back and have a little chat. So as I mentioned, you would be aware that 
Target is undergoing a slight revamp. And now I have got this on a good authority. I did speak to someone at Target who filled me in on this because I was concerned when I saw the TikToker buying all the clothes for $2, I was concerned that Target was basically doing away with all their items, all their women's wear, men's wear, all their furnishings, all their kitchenware, all their electricals, and just basically having Anko Kmart branded items in there, which we're sort of like, well, what's the point? If we've already got Kmart, then what do we need Target for, right? That's my opinion. So I spoke to the lady and she said, no, no, what they're doing is they're, they're going to be keeping the ladies wear. The clothing are going to be remaining as the Target brands. So the Lily Loves, the Target Woman, all the Target brands are going to be remaining. However, what they're going to be doing is showcasing all the Anchor products everywhere else in the store which in my opinion is doing a disservice to Target. And look, don't come for me. That's just my opinion. And I'm sharing it with you as a friend, um, as you would with a friend over coffee. So that's what I'm doing here today. So I feel like it's probably not in the best interest of Target, the brand, the value that we perceive in Target, for Target to start stocking Anchor and Kmart products. Because in a lot of places, like in my shopping center, I have a Target and I have a Kmart. So if I want Kmart products, I go to Kmart. If I want Target products, I go to Target. And so I feel by stocking the same Anchor products in both stores, it's just like, ugh, what's the point? I do hope and I believe I've been told that Target is going to retain the women's wear because I do feel that the women's wear at Target is a little bit better than the women's wear at Kmart. There's a bigger selection. You've got the full gamut of the ranges for women. You've got teenagers, young women. You've got a more a more elegant label. You have the options of the Danny Minogue's Petite for petites. You've got obviously the men's and children, etc. So I feel like the brands of clothing at Target are better than the clothing at Kmart. They are more expensive, however, and it's, that's just my opinion. I love shopping at Kmart. However, if I'm looking for something a little bit more elevated, I will shop at Target. So I really hope that Target is going to retain that, and I believe they are. However, I don't really know how they're going to manage having basically two stores in the same shopping center selling the same things. I feel like that's probably not going to be something that's going to remain long term. What do you feel about it? How do you feel about this new change of Target and Kmart. I know I've been seeing on social media some disgruntled comments on the Target Instagram account. People are not very happy and I have to say I agree. I just feel like it's a duplication of products in a lot of centres. My gut feel is that there is no need for two of the same in a shopping centre and my gut feel is that probably Target is going to be rebranded or changed and once the lease comes up, it's going to be moved on to something else. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below whether you agree or whether you have a different opinion. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Do comment and share the video to anyone else that you think might like it. I hope wherever you are, you're having a fabulous day. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.